I'm a girl with short hair. I'm a heterosexual girl with short hair. Hi, I'm Lois Papercom and oh my god, that sounded so Dutch. But I'm Dutch, so I mean, fuck it. I'm just discovering a whole new world while having short hair. I mean, let's go back to when I started my hair journey. And, I, and you could say that that's when I was like one year old, but we're going back a few months, okay? Beginning this year, I decided that I wanted my hair to be different than what it was. Um, and I had blonde, long hair. It was dyed, this is my natural color, but I had dyed my hair blonde for some years, I think two, two and a half, and let me get into that. I think deeply wired, I thought that once I got blonde long hair, I'd be accepted. I'd be finally worth loving. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's just put it out there. I think I had some big and still have thing going around the fact, okay, blonde long hair, that's that's feminine, which is absurd, and that's something that's in my head, but this, this kind of... Uh, but, beginning this year, I figured I wanted to be more me, and I'm 22 years old right now, and I've been on a search to myself for a few months now, and long blonde hair just wasn't it, so I thought, okay, let's go back to brunette. So I decided to dye my hair uh, brunette again, and I mean, it was died and I it just was something about it that didn't feel quite right so after some time um, like two months I decided to cut my hair uh, shorter to a bob and I wanted that for quite a quite a time I think I had been fantasizing about it for like two years and I thought it would be really cool to go to a bob with my own hair color and just like being a fierce woman and I did that and I felt very very good. I loved it. Around corona time I also had one haircut done by my roommate and it was just a bit shorter. It wasn't short short, it was still a bob but just a very short bob. At one point I had a conversation with one of my colleagues that I wanted my hair shorter at some point in my life. Like I wasn't saying okay I'm gonna cut my hair short but I was saying I think it would be cool to at one point in my life have shorter hair than this. Around that time she saw something on uh, Facebook, um, someone asking for a model for short hair and she linked me and that person messaged me and so on. We had a conversation and it was, it was kind of just like it was happening. So I just said all right okay let's just do it. So I went to her and she cut my hair. It was a sort of school thing so she had to practice. She cut my hair and I have a few <laughs> images of me just having that haircut and it was the first time for me having that short hair. It was the first time that I had that short hair as in I haven't had my hair as in that short. Um, So I was excited and like oh my god and I loved it. I really I felt very cool the thing about short hair is that at one point I feel very fucking awesome and at the other point I felt like a little boy. It was like an, a zero to a hundred. But when I felt good, I felt really good. I didn't even realize that I had longer hair at that point than I have right now. After I, I went short, I also went shorter than that. And also that was accidental. I mean, I kid you not. I, I literally, it wasn't meant to go like that. At one point, and I can see it right now, it's annoying me, um, my sides hair is just sort of like, it's, I don't know, it doesn't look cool. And I had that when I um, first went shorter. After a month, I thought, okay, I, I don't really like this, I don't know, in a, a better model. I didn't want it to go shorter per se. I just wanted the model of my hair to be better. So I went back to the salon and I told her that I wanted that and I had some Pinterest photos but I also had one um, haircut that was short on one side and longer on the other. So me and the hairdresser were talking about it, I was showing the pictures, I was telling my whole hair journey and um, we came down to the hair look with one longer side and one shorter. So she went on and she did that. At one point the sideburns were very short. This was also quite short, short and then I had 
this. I looked at myself and I just, I, I hated it. I mean, in the first five seconds, I was like, okay, I'm okay. Um, then I went home and I looked at myself in the mirror and I just saw two haircuts. This and then this but much shorter as in pixie and long and I, I could I just couldn't look at myself and see one hair look so I called after a few hours saying okay I'm sorry I went today I can feel myself not liking this at all can I come back um, and can we fix it I mean just see what else we can do with it next day I went back and she said okay we can do two things. One side of your hair is really short, so we can either do trim the um, hair lock a bit more and make it a little shorter so the transition isn't that big, or we can do the other side as short as the other, but then you'll just, it, it will be short. So the kind of girl I am, I said, okay, then let's just go short because I'm hating this. I, I don't like this, I can, no. Let's just go all the way and let's go shorter. I think I like that more. So she did um, both sides uh, the same length and um, it was more or less around a pixie cut. Still not pixie pixie, I guess, but it was quite shorter. And also that, that hair look was... I, I really liked it. Once I had my outfit on or makeup or... I mean either one and I felt good. I mean I've had many times that I just sat there with nothing in my hair and in those moments I did feel like a little boy most of the time. And now I'm just curious how it will grow out. When I got this haircut something did change for me. Um, for myself as how I looked at myself but also how I noticed other people looking at me. People at work they um, sometimes because when i'm work i was working i had a different outfit on so i wasn't in a girly uh, feminine outfit i didn't have earrings sometimes i didn't have much makeup on and i had just a work outfit a work look and people would just um call out for me and call me sir or man um, before they asked me a question which is not even something that it wasn't necessarily meant mean or not nice it was just it's something so wired in the brain, short hair man, that people called me sir and man. And then, for example, they, they were like, so, oh, um, miss. Um, so <laughs> I couldn't even quite blame them, but being uh, seen as a guy was kind of confronting for me. Also a thing I noticed was a lot of guys that I uh, had contact of conversations with in those months they always asked me why did you do it and I didn't have a quite I didn't really have a reason but they always asked me why did you do it I mean no offense I mean I'm Dutch you cannot have it but in English that's you can pull it off no hard feelings of all people you can pull it off but I mean long hair um, so I didn't really experience offensive mean comments but you just feel the question marks around it like why would you cut your hair and have short hair why would you i don't know it's kind of liberating also it's easy sometimes not always i discovered how much people associated femininity onto my hair and how much I did it myself. So it's not only a fire at everyone else around me, it's me. I also have the association of femininity, long hair, wired inside my brain. And that's something I just hate. So I'm working on that because I, I'm i more than my hair. I'm not the hair length that I have. And a thing in my brain, in my experience, and it's not something that people quite really said to me, but I, like I said, I'm a girl who likes guys. And for guys mostly assuming that a girl with short hair is a lesbian or is less attractive is quite, quite a thing too. For me, having short hair, I noticed that I, at one point, didn't want to have short hair anymore because I was hating the feeling and the idea of how people were looking at me. They were looking at me and they were seeing a guy, a man or a lesbian and both are fine and I mean I have nothing against men or lesbians or 
bisexuals or anyone with short hair with a different uh, sexual preference, but it was just not something that I was, I could relate to. And I mean, your identity and your sexuality, or your gender and, and sexuality are two quite big things that make a person, as in, but why would it make a person, I mean, I just, I think about it and I think, okay, so my whole sexuality is so immensely linked to how I look. Um, I have short hair and I, I'm scared that people think I'm a lesbian and it's not because I don't like LGBTQ, it's just because I want to walk on the street and be approachable and if guys just skip me because she has short hair, I mean, that's a thing and the fact that it's such a thing in my head is my thing that I need to work on. The last thing I noticed once I've cut my hair is social media. My like rate has dropped immensely. It's like 50% of the people that follow me do not like my photos anymore since I have short hair. I didn't have that many likes um, to begin with but let's say around 500, 400 or 500 likes and my best photo right now reaches 220 and the worst ones are under 200 which i mean it's not nothing but the difference the difference is just quite big <laughs> um it just made me aware of how big the beauty standards and ideals are so wired in our brain and it's also stupid that i would rather have long hair to be socially accepted than to have short hair and be less socially accepted so yeah being a girl with short hair is quite an experience in conclusion i think the biggest realization of the whole thing is that whatever haircut i have it doesn't fix my self-image like i said I thought that once I'd have a short, dark-haired bob, I would feel like I am a fierce, beautiful woman. And while I had that hair, I still didn't. Because underneath, I wasn't happy with myself. Me having blonde, long hair didn't make me love myself. And me having short, brunette hair didn't make me love myself more either. It did, on the other hand... Uh, let me see that. That's the look that is most authentic to how I feel about myself and how I see myself, I guess. And the short hair for now is not how I see myself, which makes me not flourish. I'm still not completely there, but I'm quite aware of where, I, where I'm at right now and I'm working on it. So I'm working on that self-image. I'm working on loving myself and uh, accepting myself embracing myself. Every step I take closer to that makes me shine more in how I look um, and it doesn't matter which haircut I have because once I feel better about myself that will reflect in my hair and appearance such as short, long, whatever hair I take. It's interesting how much having different hairstyles or going through short hair or bold i mean i can only assume how much you mentally go through having a bald head it just makes you see so much more about yourself and discover things of how you look at things and how you think um it's very interesting so yeah i think in the end um like my sister said to me it's just hair right um because i said that to her it's just hair it's not your identity um, and she got me there because I'm really going through seeing that it's not, but it's also it is. <laughs> so it's quite difficult, actually. Um, yeah. So thank you for listening to my story. I think this is about it. I'm hoping that you found it interesting. And if you are someone with short hair, uh, most likely a girl with short hair or planning to let me know what you think um i'm very curious in how you've experienced having short hair as a girl if you get what i'm saying or if you have a total different perspective on it because that's kind of interesting to uh 
to know and to read. So I hope you make the time to let me know what you think. This video is in no way, I mean to offend nobody with this video. It's purely how I experienced it. So yeah, I hope to see you later and uh, bye.